How do you do? It's a great day to be in. How do you do? It's a great world we're seeing. I'm telling you, and I know you're agreeing. I'm feeling fine, show sure as your bone. How do you do? It's a great day to be in. The skitter walk is an entirely different type of surface lure. It pushes a V-wake like a mullet would. It's walking the dog style of zigzagging left and right. That's also one of the things that makes it so unique. It also inside has a nice little rattle that ticks and talks just like a clock. It's only a matter of time till this lure is gonna find a place in a fish's face. Let me show you how this lure works. One of the unique features about the skitter walk is its side-to-side -side action. It's called walking the dog. And how do you make the skitter walk walk the dog? Well, two things. You gotta keep your rod tip nice and low, as well as you gotta make sure that you don't reel the reel too fast, because then you won't have any slack. It won't be able to go left and right. Now that was your basic walking the dog type of retrieve. A retrieve you might use for a snook, a tarpon, a redfish, or even a sea trout. Now I want to show you an aggressive type of retrieve that we use for barracudas, big jacks, or even a kingfish or a wahoo offshore. The name of this game is covering as much ground as possible. Make big, long casts. The main thing is keep that rod tip up and reel. You got to reel as fast as you can. You can't pull this bait away from these fish. Burn, baby, burn. Don't stop the lure when he gets after it. Keep it coming. You know, the skitter pop is one of my favorite all-time topwater baits. The chugging sound that it makes, whether I'm inshore or offshore, really, really attracts fish. Let me show you how this bait works. You know, the flats are a real quiet and subtle place. And one of the keys to working these skitter pops are that you want to make little tiny pops. You want to keep the bait moving. You do not want to chug it real hard. I think because the flats are so quiet that if you chug it real hard, quite often you'll offend the fish or you'll spook them. It really helps to keep the rod tip down because if you have the rod tip up, a lot of times it makes the skitter pop you know, jump out of the water. So I think it's best to keep your rod tip down. And also you don't want to reel too much because you can't get that side to side action if you don't have slack between twitches. Remember, you got to experiment with your retrieve. A lot of times the retrieve that you use depends on the species that you're fishing for. A good example, a trout, you might want to pop and pause, pop and pause. On a snook or a tarpon in real shallow water, they're really spooky up there. So make sure that you skitter, the skitter pop right by them, real soft little pop, 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 pop. Keep the bait moving. Vary your retrieves, that'll work for you. Inspired by Rapala's popular skitter walk, the new X-Walk 13 is a bigger, beefier version whose walk the dog action calls fish in hot and heavy and triggers mind-blowing surface strikes. Imitating a swimming mullet or fleeing bait fish, the X-Walk 13 brings out the beast in saltwater broods. Whether I'm fishing, you know, 
points in a reservoir or, or flats in, in, in Florida, basically I throw the bait out there and start a steady walking cadence where the bait's just sash sashaying back and forth, side to side. The only time I really stop the bait is if I'm on a tough bite and the fish just aren't really cooperating or I see in individual optics or, or isolated targets where you know, it might be a hole in the grass or it might be an underwater stump or something like that. I may walk the bait up to that type of cover and stop it and let the fish look at it for a second and then start it again. Generally, that's when the strike comes, as soon as you get it going again. But don't take our word for it. Take one for a walk yourself. The first thing you'll notice is how the weighted tail makes the X-Walk 13 cast like a bullet. It also causes the bait to sit in the water at just the right angle to make walking the dog easy and fun. This lure, for me, you know, it's one of those lures that makes you go because you know that it has tons of application for, for what you do in salt water. Traditionally what happens with a lot of the walking the dog type baits is that they're, they're great on that slack line retrieve, but when you start picking up the speed and trying to bring that lure, you know, with, with a much tighter walk, the lures don't, don't, don't follow. But the cool thing about the X-Walk is, again, because it's kind of aft weighted a little bit, you can make your long cast, right, get out to the water you need to get out to, hold the rod tip up, and then reel and make those short little twitches, and this, you'll get that really fast salt water retrieve with a much tighter walking the dog. The large internal rattles cascading within the hollow body mimic the rhythmic cadence of bait fish schools flipping hundreds of tails in a feeble attempt to escape the inevitable. It not only looks good enough to eat, it sounds great too. The X-Walk is just an extra large version of the Skitter Walk. It's made for extra large fish, big redfish, big snook, even tarpon or cobias offshore. And in the offshore colors, there's no reason why you can't catch tunas, wahoos, even maybe a sailfish. The other thing that I like about the X-Walk is it has a big ball bearing and it's all about the tone. The clickety-clack going down the railroad track attracts a lot of fish and that's why this is a must-go-to lure in your tackle box. And no doubt about it, big fish eat big lures. And that color, that clown color for sure, they really like. Redfish love chartreuse. Ain't no use if it ain't chartreuse. The X-Walk 13 comes in six proven fish catching colors, guaranteed to excite whatever fish species lurk below. And as it dances across the surface, the flash foil teaser tail flips and flaps in their faces, just begging to get whacked. Man, it looks so good, it ought to be against the law. Man, look at that. That's a stud right there. The large internal rattles get the fish's attention at a distance. And once they spot it, the rhythmic side-to-side -side dance accentuated by the flash foil teaser tail simply drives fish wild. Like their big brother, the X-Rap Walk 13, the smaller X-Rap Walk 9 and 11 have the same walk the dog side to side action that drives fish of all species to distraction. Well, let's talk a little bit about how we want to work this X-Rap walk. Specifically the size 11 and 9, you just want to take your rod tip and put it down towards the water, keeping it between you and the lure. And I like to actually take my finger and go no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Just reeling as I go along and it makes that walk the dog motion. <laughs> Generally speaking, when you're throwing a walking bait, when you uh, impart action to the lure, a real soft tip rod, yeah, you can make the bait slide side to side, but for me, at least my experience, I like a little more meat in the, in the rod, a little more backbone, and I can, I can get that thing to snap from side to side, even at a long distance. And I can't do that with the soft action rod. The beauty of this X-Walk is that they, they walk so easy. They're so well designed and balanced, you can be a, a, a rank amateur can make this bait work perfectly. It darts, it jumps, it dashes, but it never gets away. 